Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to show you how I decorated this adorable mailbox. And in a previous video, I showed you that I picked one of these mailboxes, actually two of these mailboxes up at Target, and it was only $5. And they came in red, they came in pink, as well as the craft color. And basically you can decorate them however you want. And if you're looking for them, they were not in the Valentine's Day section. They were actually in the gift wrap section on an end cap in Target. They also sell them online and I'll link that below and I saw some at Michael's. They weren't as large as these but I did see some at Michael's so if you like this project um, go get yourself a mailbox and let's decorate this. So what I really loved about these mailboxes is that they were already colored for me and I didn't want to have to worry about putting pattern paper all over the whole thing. In addition, this mailbox going around is 16 and a half inches so I wouldn't even have enough pattern paper because large pattern paper 12 by 12 wouldn't even fit. I'd have to piece it together. So what I did is I just took it in sections and decorated it using some pattern papers, some stamps and dies. So here I'm starting with the inside and I just traced that top of that mailbox with a pencil on this pattern paper and then just cut it out. And here you see me just trimming it down a little bit more so that it will fit. So just tracing and cutting and the paper pad that I'm using here is the With Love collection from the Stamps of Life. It is the one that was released in December with the Love Bugs and I think it worked perfectly with this mailbox and I really love how it turned out. So here I'm just tracing the bottom of the mailbox just on a piece of pink cardstock and then I'm just going to use my paper trimmer to trim this down so that it's in a straight line. So really I'm only taking my paper and decorating the inside and I'm not going to put pattern paper around the whole outside edge. I'm going to instead just use my stamps and dies around the outside edge. So here this piece of pink paper will fit on the inside. I do have to trim it down just a little bit more and it doesn't have to be perfect and then just add some glue and then put it right inside of that mailbox. And then I figured that for that part, since I did not use pattern paper, I was just going to take a couple of dies and die cut them and just put them on even though you really won't see it just die cut them and put them on that pink paper and you'll see that coming up so here I just wanted to get rid of the empty space that was between the pattern paper and the pink cardstock so I just cut a piece of strip from that same paper pad and just put it there to connect those two so here's where I'm just putting in some dies some die cuts and I'm using the dotted heart dies which I do use a lot um, on this mailbox so here I'm just die cut them out of two different colors and then put them on the inside. So on one side of the mailbox I'm going to be using the Ladybug Fold It and I die cut the shadow layer out of white cardstock and then the layering piece for the top is just out of that pink heart pattern paper. I did snip off the legs because I die cut the legs out of a different color and I am inking up some of the edges. So I have the circle dies that go on the body of the love bug. Those were die cut out of ocean and inked up with the ocean ink. And the pink heart paper that was inked up with the candy ink. So here's where I die cut the bottom part of the love bug in cloud cardstock. Just snipped off those legs and then added them there to the shadow layer. So here I'm just kind of trying to figure out which leg goes where because you can't just put them in any order because some legs are shorter than others and some are going at a slant and others might be going in a different direction in a slant. So once I have all of those adhered, I will then take the face of the love bug and I did die cut that out of the cloud cardstock, inking it up here with some cloud ink, adding it to the shadow layer. I am going to bring in the heart chipboard pieces. This was from the club kit from the Stamps of Life for the month of December. So if you did not use your card kit and you don't plan on making cards with it, this is a great project because I am using several of these products here from that card kit. I do bring in some googly eyes and then I die cut the mouth out of the guava card stock and add that there. 
I am bringing in the grass die and that is from the rounded corner step up card die set and I die cut two out of the mint chip cardstock and inked up the edges with the mint chip ink and I'm just adding it to the side of the box and the side that I'm adding it on is the side that has the little flag for the mailbox so I'm just creating a scene just like I would create a scene on a card Instead, I'm creating a scene here on the mailbox, and this is going to turn out so cute, you guys. <laughs> so here I'm just, I had to cut down one of the grass pieces because it was too long. Notice that I just kind of tuck it in where the layer of the mailbox is. I just try and tuck it in there and then just connect those two pieces. Now, if you have this ladybug die, I did create a couple of cards with that, and I will link it below. This was probably last year year sometime um, when it first came out so I will link that below but it is a folded card and it makes a card shaped like a ladybug I did die cut these flowers from the pattern paper pad and then on the other side of the mailbox I'm using the skinny mini alphabet that was recently released from the stamps of life and I die cut the shadow layer out of candy and I die cut the layering piece out of the mint chip cardstock. So I think the hardest thing here is just making sure that everything is centered, but I went ahead and adhered all those letters off camera, and then here I'm just using glue and adding it to the mailbox. And the art glitter glue, it works perfectly adhering all of these die cut pieces. I didn't have any issues with any of it falling off of this mailbox. And by the time I'm putting this video out, I've probably had this mailbox for about a week now and nothing has fallen off. Everything is very secure. Okay, so I have some heart dies. I'm moving on to the front of the mailbox where you open the door to the mailbox. And I die cut three dotted heart dies, some out of um, strawberry, mint chip, candy cardstock, and then some of the pattern paper. I did ink up the edges, so I'm using the candy, mint chip, and strawberry inks from the Stamps of Life. And here I'm just going to layer up these dotted heart dies on top of each other. And then I'm also going to bring in a flower from the paper pad. And after I thought about it, I probably, instead of putting a flower there, I probably would have put a love bug there. So that's a really great idea if any of you are recreating this. A love bug would have been super cute. But I like the flower too. I think still think it looks really pretty. I went ahead and die cut some more of the flowers from that paper pad. And then part of the dotted heart die set is this border die that has a border with hearts and I decided just to die cut that out of some candy card stock and then add it there to the bottom of the mailbox and I did die cut two of them because this was not long enough so I just am connecting it I just cut part of that off of the um, half a strip there and then just connecting it there at the bottom. And you can also apply grass here, make it look like these flowers are growing out of the ground just like you did, or just like I did with the love bugs on the opposite side. So here I am doing these hearts for the flag in the mailbox. So I die cut more dotted hearts and I'm doing two sets, all the same color, so one for the front of the flag and one for the back of the flag. So I did ink those up and just layering them together. I did stamp out the word love in the middle, and that's from the Love Bugs to Stamp stamp set. And you can see that I'm just going to attach it there to the front and to the back. So when the flag is up on the mailbox, you'll be able to see those pretty hearts standing up. So here I'm taking my dies from the Love Bugs to Stamp dies and die cutting a couple of the Love Bugs and notice that the mail pieces there, I'm die cutting those as well. So last time I checked, the Stamps of Life had these in stock on their website, the paper pad. It's the With Love Collection. And I just found that this paper pad just made it so easy to decorate this mailbox. I did not have to worry about stamping and coloring, which can be a little bit time consuming. So I just chose to use these love bugs and mail pieces that were already in that paper pad. Now, if you don't have the paper pad or if it happens to be out of stock, you can use the stamp set and I will link all of that below in case you don't have it. But there is the corresponding stamps that you can stamp and color and then decorate the mailbox using these love bugs. Or you don't even have to use love bugs. You can use any stamp set that you have to decorate this or any die set. I am going to be doing the back side of the mailbox now. So I have some more hearts and I also die cut the 
word love and that's from the love statement set from the Stamps of Life. And here I'm going to put the love bug in the middle. So that's what I wanted to do in the front but I didn't even think about it until I was doing the back side. So here I'm going to go ahead and add the um, heart and then I'm going to add the word love and I'm also going to be bringing in some of these chipboard pieces from that December card kit. And if you don't have the chipboard pieces, maybe you're not a card kit member, I'm sure maybe you have some heart dies somewhere or some other dies that you can use to decorate this. And in the heart die set, if you are using the dotted heart die set, there are some smaller hearts that you can use here instead of the chipboard pieces. So here I just want to show you what the stamp set looks like. This is the Love Bugs to Stamp set, and there's also the More Love Bugs to Stamp set. So if you don't have that paper pad, you definitely can use those stamp sets. They do have the flowers in them as well. So here's a look at the mailbox, the full version all around. So you can see the cute little scene that I created there, and you can see the happy mail there, and the mailbox flag can close. I think I'm going to be using this just to keep in my craft room because I love it so much. and. I don't know, I'm just going to use it as decoration. My daughter actually came in the other day and put a little note in the mailbox and says, Mom, you're amazing. So I thought that was super cute. And I actually bought a second one in pink that I'm going to decorate for her room. And I'm going to put little love notes throughout the year. I think this is something that you can create and use throughout the year just for some fun decoration. I think it's so pretty and it just makes a nice addition to any, any room. So if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button and leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought of this mailbox and also let me know if you plan on decorating a mailbox or something similar to this. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and thank you so much for watching everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.